Dear viewers, in the previous video, we saw how uh, forms can be created. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how we can include copy questions in CS Pro program. I think you remember we had this questionnaire. Uh, we had three major parts identification, demographic, and the household characteristics, whereby in the first part, household identification, we had 12 uh, variable, 12 questions. Now, I'm going to include these questions uh, in CS Flow program. The first one was region, the other one, this is word, village identification, up to interview results. First, you have to uh, make sure that, that you are informed. Then you have to select the particular uh, variable of interest and then you have to create a copy question. Then you have to write instruction for enumerator. For example, for this one, select region. This one select the district, select the word, select the village, select the enumeration area, select the household identification. Now, the next one, you have to write household name. This one, you have to include date of interview, month, year, uh, date, month, and year. Then, mobile number of household dates. Household head, this is supervisor's name, enumerator's name, and also results of interview. Then if from there, we are going to include questions from the second record, second topic, which was demographic, uh, demographic information. Now this moment, I'm going to copy the question from electronic form of the questionnaire, and then I'm going to paste it into CS Pro. And then this is uh, CS Pro, and this is question Question one. The second one, I'm going to copy the relationship to the head of household. Copying that one. First here. That is question number two. Uh, the third question on sex. That is question number. Question number two, number three. And then you have to again copy information for date, month, year, age, etc. up to up to the end. But very important after you've already copied all of them, very important that you have to consider uh, the, because of the first variable, we see that we please give names of all persons who are current. Now we have to find the way how to pick those names instead of just uh, reading out the relationship of name to the head of household. Now we have to copy this variable. This is name one. Now we have to say that this is. Uh, name one the name of this variable where names will be written 
and then you have to put percent percent then now names will be picked from the first variables to this one the same apply to sex then you have to copy and uh, paste over here like that then after we already included the cup questions so the, the 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 remaining parts and then you have, you have to edit as you, as you have seen over here so that uh, the program will be able to pick names from the first uh, item now now after you have already written all those questions and then you are going to have something like this now uh, at this stage then uh, I can run my program so that I can see sorry so that I can see how these questions looks like so normally let's say so, zero one Say this one name of also the age is Ali Juma. Maybe that is the date of interview. What is supervisor's name? Maybe that one in waiter's name. Now Please give names of all persons. The first one is the Albert Kapala. Now you see what is the relationship of Albert Kapala to the head of household. Albert Kapala is the head of household. Is Albert Kapala a male or female? <laughs> uh, that one. Then the little interview. Uh, Then the age is for two marital status, married, something of that kind. So that is the way you can include copy questions. And you've seen how uh, the program can pick names. The coming video will cover logic checks. And uh, make sure that you don't miss it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.